Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna get right into this one and boy do I have a story for you. So today is our fifth and final day and the eye look that we will be going after today is our final one which is chestnuts. So browns, burgundies, that's kind of our vibe. And today's palette, Tati Beauty Palette. So if you do not know quite what I'm doing, the videos will be linked up here, kind of going into detail. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it right now. I'm honestly just gonna get into the look. Exciting enough, I actually have plans after this. So I actually get to like wear this look and use it instead of just having it go to waste and washing my face after filming. Cause I normally film like right before bed. I don't know why. And then I'll just like wipe it all off, wash my face, call it a day. But I actually get to wear this makeup look. That's why I'm wearing a different highlighter, which I might have to tone down because it might be a little much. But I did use the Jeffree Star Peach Goddess, which exciting. I've hit pan. I've never hit pan on anything. So that is my one of my favorite highlighters ever. I love it and I use it all the time. So I'm not surprised I hit pan. But without further ado, we're gonna just start the look and then I'll kind of talk. So of course, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. First, I'm gonna tap into this light one here, which is Matte Aura. So let's talk. When this palette first launched, the first time, not the, the pre-orders, I was up, I had my alarm set, I was waiting in line for, oh God, uh, I'd say probably a good half an hour. Like, I went ahead, okay, I have that. Ace Concealer is my eyeshadow primer. Next, I'm gonna tap into Soothe, which is this brown here, the matte. So anyways, had my alarm set, all that fun stuff, and then I checked out. I got a like pop-up that said, like, you'll receive an email confirmation soon, blah, blah, whatever. I'm used to it at this point with like launches because I had that happen with Jeffree Star multiple times. I've had that happen with Morphe a couple times. So I'm kind of at this point, like as long as within like that day, I get a confirmation email, I'm not worried about it. So, you know, wait and wait and wait and wait, get nothing. So I'm like, okay, like what is going on? I don't really understand, but I was so excited that I didn't do research into it. Weeks go by and I'm seeing everybody post on like Instagram and Twitter and stuff and like, Oh, the next color that I'm tapping into is Matte Ritual, which is this chocolate brown shade here. I'm gonna deepen my crease with that. And I'm like, okay, like, those aren't influencers. Those are, like, normal people. Like, okay, what is going on? And then I get, go back into my email and realize I never got a confirmation email. So I try emailing their customer service get zero response. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, the day it's the age of social media, I'm going to DM them. So I can't remember if it was on Twitter or Instagram, but I DM them the Tati Beauty. And I'm like, hey, like, what's going on? Next, I'm gonna dip into the matte story, which is this reddish shade here, just because the chestnuts did have a little bit of like a reddish hint to them. So anyways, I'm like, hey, like, you know, what's going on? I never did get my confirmation email. I see everyone's already got their palettes. Like, you know, what's up? And they're like, oh, well, like if you didn't get a confirmation number or an email, that means it didn't go through. So I checked my bank account, sure enough, never got charged which i mean at least i didn't get charged and i'm like okay like i wanted to get charged i wanted this palette sent to me like that's why like i waited in line and they're like oh you know we're sorry but there's nothing we can do and i'm like well i find that hard to believe but you know whatever and they're like but you know the the pre-orders happening right now so like it's not sold out you should go ahead and order i contemplated not ordering Cause I'm like, you know what? I'm just so frustrated right now that like, I don't even wanna go through with it. But at the same time, like the palette's so pretty. I'm like, all right, yeah, I need that palette. So I went ahead and went with the pre-order and obviously I received it. I think I received it a couple days ago or a week, up to a week ago, I don't know. But I wanted to save this one cause I knew it didn't have like a ton of colors for like Christmas play. And thankfully, the last one that I haven't done is Chestnut, and I felt like this would kind of go in with that. And, oh, I'm going back into Soothe, which is that lighter brown that we first 
like put on but yeah i was like super pissed like i'm like hello customer service wake up like what is going on that's my my story i was very frustrated because like i was really excited and when i you know make sure to like put time aside my day to be ready to do the pre-order and everything and then it just doesn't send i'm like the fuck i've been trying not to cuss as much on my channel but like that warrants a a fuck so i think what i want to do first let's buff a little bit more of soothe on the outer here so i have a little bit of a reddish hint there i think i want to add the smallest bit of poet which is this maroon matte shade here i think i'm gonna put that yeah i'm gonna put that on my outer corner just a hint just because it still kind of has that reddish vibes i'm gonna be completely honest like this palette works with the chestnut theme because of the color story but i'm also being selfish because i'm gonna actually wear this look and i want it to be what i want it to be i could have just drew like a chestnut on my eye we're not doing that today i mean look at how all my other ideas have gone aka not good they, they didn't go good and i haven't been putting too much liner in my waterline lately basically just because i'm lazy but i'm gonna make sure to do that tonight i think we'll probably do a brown i don't hate that so far i will do a little bit of cleanup afterwards but i think i want to next take the ritual so the like chocolate column i'm gonna take the metallic shade and hit that kind of we'll do that on the probably in the center no no we're not doing that color we're gonna take instead let's take story the story metallic this like reddish orange we'll take that one instead my initial instinct is just to dip into those chunky glitters i'm trying to restrain myself okay not bad needs a little help though which is like pretty normal in my opinion for metallics oh yeah uh-huh yeah yep perfect love it so is everybody like ready for christmas because i'm still not we actually are waiting on our last gift from amazon to get here for somebody and um hopefully it gets here tomorrow like it says it's supposed to because otherwise that's not gonna be good oh that's like perfect so i thought i'd be cute and try to flare out the burgundy but like mm -mm. i'm just dotting a little bit of that burgundy back out there I like this and I feel like it still goes with our theme but still is wearable and then let's pick an under eye color I think I'm gonna start with soothe which is that light brown again and then we can work up from there if I feel like it now the reason why I wanted this palette was because like I feel like it's such a good like basic palette like neutrals and nudes and stuff but at the same time like it's really pretty and has options and i really liked that which with tati i'd expect nothing less anyways so okay so grant me one thing don't judge me too much we're gonna stick within the color realm don't worry i'm gonna add some glitter i'll go ahead and add the story glitter which is again in the like reddish row just to stick in the color-esque of chestnut but like they feel so nice they honestly remind me a lot of my hip dot glitters if you watched my hip dot video then you'll know how much i enjoy not only hip dot glitters but they're in this shiny in general like metallics are fantastic glitters are fantastic and i feel like well besides these christmas looks because i those were just a disaster on their own there i don't think glitter would have fixed them glitter can fix almost any look so if you're struggling and you're frustrated don't be because throw some glitter on it bet you be fine that's what i've learned and i'd say nine out of ten times it works all right for a brown bone highlight and a inner corner highlight i'm going to go ahead and tap into aura i'm going to tap into the metallic it's just such a nice like light champagne type of color oh yeah this is like my perfect brow bone and inner corner like color i'm just so basic and so predictable and i really really try to get out of that like comfort zone i'm just not very good at it 
All right, I'm like pretty satisfied with this. I'm gonna do a little bit more buffing and then I'm going to go ahead and throw on some brow gel and some mascara and then we'll be back for my final results. Oh, and my lips, cause they need some help. I am living my best vampy Christmas, holiday, whatever vibes. Oh, I'm like feeling myself again and I'm really excited that this didn't turn out super bad because actually wearing it so as far as the talkie beauty palette goes besides all the drama that I had to deal with in order to get it I like it I actually probably will be taking this on holiday with me just to use because it has like really great colors of course I'm gonna bring pro I'll, my recent go-to's are the like mini palettes by ColourPop like focus on a particular color just because it's easy so I'll probably grab like a red and a green one for that in case I do want to go a little bit Christmassy as well as color pop eyeliners that are like good I used the brown one and I actually really like it yeah now I gotta figure out what to do to this hair I already have my outfit picked out I actually found a cute new shirt today it's actually already been washing this in the dryer so I'm really excited to try that on but yeah okay so this concludes our little Christmas series challenge i don't know what you want to call it but i will have a playlist of all of them as well as at the very end of this video if you'd like to watch them all in order there are five total today is number five links are all down there like i keep saying shop my closet i just posted new new stuff like stuff i just pulled from my closet and posted today because i found like i was looking for a pair of jeans today i'm like wait i don't wear these i don't wear that why do I still have this? And so I posted new stuff. I did actually just ship out a couple packages today. Like I keep stressing, the formulate giveaway is good until the 29th. All my links and socials are down below. Like I said, follow me on TikTok. There will be lots of drunk and obnoxious TikTok dances, I have a feeling. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you have a very safe and happy holidays. Till next time.